Hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying, and I will be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Let you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into this. Two overall energies for my beautiful Taurus, please. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels. Okay, for Taurus. Okay, one more for Taurus, please. Oh my gosh. Divine union, divine counterparts. I don't know how else to express it. The sun and the moon came out. <laughs> First card out was the feminine energy, the moon. Something may be arriving. Something that's a surprise. Something that's hidden. Um, your intuitive nature, or if you're feeling an intuitive pull, it's off the charts right now. Okay. So it says moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Okay. So if you're feeling a pull, you need to act on it. Okay. Like I'm feeling like no second guessing here. I think your intuitive nudge is strong enough to where you feel like you can trust it, okay? And it's asking for you to trust it. So we have the sun, something's being illuminated. This is the masculine, okay? Masculine energy. So something's coming to light, something's being exposed, something extremely happy is gonna happen for me, okay? This is the ultimate happiness card in the deck, so. Something really wonderful is about to happen for the Taurus. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. And the moon is indicating it just hasn't happened yet, but <sighs> what is this moon and sun energy for my Taurus? I don't think I ever had a read where the moon and the sun came out at the same time. Something may have come in with the eclipse energy. I know I said something um, in my other reads regarding that. Okay, you could be changing locations. You might be purchasing a new house. Somebody may have purchased a new house for you. Okay. Maybe this is what's hidden. Look at this beautiful home. It's your dream house, Taurus. Why is the home here for Taurus? With the moon and the sun. He has made his appearance. The wealthy man <laughs> and you know at the beginning of this this uh reading i was gonna say we're gonna do a little check on our wealthy man here he is he showed on his own this is the masculine he's highly educated he's highly uh he's very wealthy he could be an investor He's definitely high up there. And the other card that came out was change. You're going to be changing homes. You're going to be changing tax brackets. And you're going to be changing lovers. The wealthy man. It's time, baby dolls. It's time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know we had love confession in our past reading. And I feel like it's here again. And it's so powerful. It's so powerful in this read. Because this is a destined union. 
the masculine and the feminine come into union. Big time changes on the way. Big time. All right. What else for Taurus? Holy crap. Maybe I'll use the tarot, okay? There's an evil ex attached to this wealthy man. I just need to let you know. And I feel like this is the reason why this wealthy man has been so secretive, okay? I feel like this uh, wealthy man is being careful, okay? I feel like this is a very delicate situation. If this ex has any indication that this person may have feelings for someone else, they're going to go berserk, okay? They're going to try to sabotage. They're going to try to attack it. They're going to come after you. Is this is this is this person is big time, okay? This person could be a celebrity. What did I just say? The Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Yeah. This is why this guy is keeping everything under wraps. This is why it's been real quiet. Maybe this is why he had to hold back because somehow, some way, something got the information got leaked, okay? And his ex is very vengeful. And if this person has their eye on you, their ex is probably already stalking you, okay? So I just, if you're feeling like a negative energy around you in your energy field, it's this person's ex, okay? Uh, yeah, something's gonna, something's about to go down. What's gonna go down for my Taurus? Okay, you're gonna receive a message, Taurus. I believe it's a small message or a small gesture from this wealthy man okay this is the page of pentacles look at the peacock okay he might be sending you a small little gift maybe he tried something small to get your attention and that he took the chance okay and it just opened up a big can of worms this person's ex already had like they still have their claws in this person. Their ex stalks them, like everything that they do. So they found out this little gesture. And now it's on. Okay, so be very careful. Be very careful, okay? More for Taurus, the wealthy man. The sun and the moon. <laughs> All right, we have the eight of pentacles. This is this guy's a workaholic, or you could be, or you both have a very strong work ethic. It might be what brought you two together. You might share in the same, you might make, I don't know. You might be on the same career path, but this person might want to invest in you as well. You both are very hard workers, okay? Four plus four. This is an eight, you know. It's the eight of pentacles, so. They could be another earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Sometimes the only other sign that understands us is fellow earth signs okay so <laughs> your wealthy man could definitely be an earth sign 
or a Scorpio maybe with the 13. That's the Scorpio in uh, the regular Rider Waite deck. Okay, the epic saga continues. More for Taurus. What is this wealthy man bringing Taurus? Oh my gosh. The Nine of Cups. So he's bringing gifts. He's bringing the whole show. He's bringing it all. Okay. The next cup is the Ten of Cups. So I know I've said it before, but this person is bringing it to you by the boatloads. Okay. This person doesn't want to give you any opportunity to say no. Okay. He's going to make sure that your cup runneth over that you will want for nothing and you will not want to say no to this person. Okay. With this nine of cups and trust me when I say that there will be a ring in that 10th, in that 10th cup. Okay. He's not going to come at you with just, I mean, whatever this little messenger was or this little gesture was, it was just to test the waters. Okay. But now that the secret's out, he's full force. Okay. So he needs to, he needs to put it out on, on the line before this other person gets a hold of it all right and really can start messing things up and here we are with another page page of cups so are we at end time okay um you might have kids they might have kids your kids might go to school together Or this is just really in the beginning phases. This page could represent you, Taurus. And this other page could represent them. You could be dealing with a water sign also. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And everything is really new, really fresh right now. You two both might be at a vulnerable moment in your life, okay? You both might be starting over in relationships and anything else, okay? More on the wealthy man for my Taurus. Just be very... Tell me about the wealthy man for Taurus. Let's talk about him. The king of money, okay? So, <laughs> here he is again. Taurus. There's a Taurus in my collective, okay? That's meeting their match. That is meeting their meeting the catch, okay? This is a very family-oriented sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They love stability. They love being in relationships. They love creating legacies for their family. This is a self-made millionaire. This is the king of money, king of pentacles. He's here twice. And I feel like he has a proposition for you, Taurus. Okay. What does the king... A pentacles want with my Taurus. Okay, I just wanted to see what it's at the end. What does the king of money want with my Taurus? Or Taurus, this could be you, definitely. You might be coming in. You're the king of money. You could be coming in with a, a love offer for someone. What did I say? Disguising. Disguising. Trying to keep it away, keep this, 
You're their star. You light their fire. Okay, Taurus? They carry around this love and desire for you, but they have to cloak it because if anybody found out at this time, it's going to be under attack. It's going to get a lot of envy. It's going to get a lot of evil eye energies. And this guy knows it. That's why he's cloaked. And for me, yes, this could de definitely represent Virgo as the hermit. But for me, this is how the King of Wands cloaks his emotions. Okay? Everybody wants the King of Wands. Everybody wants to be in the King of Wands energy. He's charismatic. He's the hottest king in the deck. Okay? And people, and they just gravitate towards him. So when he needs to cool himself off and he doesn't want people around him and he doesn't want all this attention, he closes himself off, he cloaks himself, and he hides, okay? But you know it's him because of the fire and the lamp and the staff, his wand, okay? So that's the tell for me. And then he came across the snake on the trail, on the path that came out. That's why he's very smart. He's very educated. He's very strategic. It wouldn't surprise me if the emperor came out and the king of wands. I mean, I'm sorry, the king of swords. He knows what he was doing when he sent you this little message or this little gift, okay? And when he did, the snake revealed itself. So now he knows where it is and he can get rid of the snake. Where are we at in time? All right, more for Taurus. Holy crap, Taurus. Yeah, there's a love confession. And it's right around the corner. Three of Pentacles. It's coming around. They want to collaborate with you. They want to talk with you. They want to build something with you. I'm feeling this like right now is just really the beginning. And the reveal is coming when it's safe. It's just on hold right now because this is not the right time. There's a crazy person amongst the mixed. And you don't know them, but they know you through this person. Okay. Hmm. This person's ex. Okay, let me just tell you something. If somewhere out of the blue, let's say you're at the store and you're shopping. Let's say, I don't know where you're shopping at. Let's say you're just at like a home goods store. There's going to be somebody out of the blue that just tries to talk to you, okay? Asks your opinion. Maybe even ask for a little favor. Try to like build a rapport with you. What is that movie called? Uh oh, with Glenn Close. Ooh, what is it? Why can't I think of the name right now? With Michael Douglas and Glenn Close. You know, and she's like... Damn. Ugh. I'm so sorry. And I know you guys are shouting it out right now. <laughs> But she was an, the ultimate psycho ex, okay? Don't trust. Just be very quaint with this person. Don't give them a lot of your attention or a lot of information. And go about your day. Because that that's a total setup right there. Fatal attraction. There we go. Fatal attraction. This is this uh, this person's ex is a total fatal attraction, bitch. Okay, so just be very careful. It's a little dangerous. And this is why this person has to be very very careful with their love confession. Okay, this is why it may have taken a little bit longer 
than expected for your safety because they really do care about you, Taurus. All right, where are we at on time? One more for Taurus to wrap this up. For Taurus, please. What's advice for Taurus? Here it is. Here it is. Do you see? It's coming out. I don't know how else to show you, but here. I'm just going to let it drop. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Love. This is the love confession. It's happening, Taurus. Oh my gosh. The Ace of Cups. The end on the Ace of Cups. Your wealthy man is finally coming through. He doesn't care about what this fucking bitch has to say about it. He's tired of waiting. He's tired of walking on eggshells because of them. And he is the king of pentacles. He is the wealthy man and he shouldn't have to deal. And he shouldn't have to feel alone. And he should be able to deal with be, be with the person that he wants to be with. And that's you. And he's coming in with the offer. Here it is. The Ace of Fucking Cups. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. I'm getting the chills, my loves. Okay? Until next time, baby dolls. Ciao.